Hello students, in this video we'll compute the Laplacian and divergence in orthogonal curvilinear coordinates. Let's be given orthogonal curvilinear coordinates u, v, and w with Lemay coefficients h1, h2, h3 in principal directions i, j, k like so. Then what? Then Let's find the formula for that divergence of a i i hat plus a j j hat plus a k k hat. So let's focus on one of these terms over here. Let's focus on this first term because, of course, divergence is linear, right? And so we know that, for example, if I wanted to compute the divergence, divergence, for example, of a i i, I could use the fact that, what do we know? We know that what well, i is in terms of uh, j and k, right? So in other words, we know that if I look at the, the gradient, for example, the gradient of u is really what? Is really 1 over h1 is 1 over h1 i hat. And similar with the other ones over here, right? And so since i, so by, by this formula over here, we can conclude that, for example, j hat, for example, is going to be h2 gradient of v and k hat is h3 gradient of w, right? I can use those two relationships over here to write that the divergence of a i i is really the divergence of h2 h3, h2 h3, and then a i, those are the coefficients, and then I'm going to have the gradient of v, gradient of v, cross the gradient of w. Like so. And now let's recall, recall that in general, for divergence of f times v is really f divergence v, f divergence v plus gradient f dot v like that. And I also know that the divergence of a curl, divergence of a cross b is what? is going to be the curl of AB, curl of AB, uh, curl of A dot B dot B, and then minus the curl of B, curl of B dot A. Okay, excellent. So I'm going to use these two vector identities over here. And what will I get? So I'm going to break this up into two parts. So this first part over here we're going to get is what? So the first part we get over here is going to be, I'm going to take out this function due to the divergence of the gradient, right? So it's going to be h2, h3, ai, and then the divergence of grad v cross grad w. And then I'm going to have a what? Then I'm going to have a plus the gradient, plus the gradient of ai, h2, h3. And then that's going to be what? That's going to be dot, the vector field, um, v over here, which is going to be grad v, grad v cross grad w. And I'm going to be able to replace that with what I want in a second over here. Now, the salient feature of this term over here is that this term over here is going to vanish, right? And the reason is the following, because if I do the curl of a gradient, the curl of a gradient by this identity is always zero, right? So that ter those terms are gone because the divergence of something cross something is the curl of either of those two things in a linear combination, right? And so those the, the, um, the curl of a gradient is zero, right? So since that's the case, those terms vanish, right? And so now we're in good shape, because what we can do now is we can write this in the following way. We can now write this term over here as what? That grad v, grad v, is really 1 over h2, h3, j cross k, right? So this is 1 over h2, h3, j cross k, like that. That's these terms over here. I'm just rewriting it in a simpler form now. Dot product with what? I'm going to have a 1 over h1, partial, partial u, of what? Partial, partial u of this product over here, a i and then h2, h3, i hat. 
and then plus other terms over here, plus the other terms, plus the J terms and the K terms. I don't even need to write those out because I know that J cross K is perpendicular to J and K, so those terms are gonna dot out when I do the dot product. Those terms are gone over here. And so we get the first term in our divergence, right? The first term in our divergence is just gonna be what? It's gonna be one over H1, H2, H3. And then we have what? Partial, partial U. Of what? Of, um, of AI, H2, H3, like that. And so now we're in a good shape because I can symmetrize this and get the following, get the following formula. This implies the divergence, the divergence of this expression over here of AI, I hat plus AJ, J hat plus AK, K hat by the exact same reasoning is going to be one over H1, H2, H3, and then a what? And then a partial, partial U of AI, H2, H3, plus partial, partial V of AJ, H1, H3, and then plus partial, partial W of AK, H1, H2. And that gives us our formula for the divergence, right? That's our formula for divergence of the vector field in these orthogonal curvilinear coordinates, right? Beautiful. And so now I get the formula for the Laplacian for free, right? So how do I get the formula for the Laplacian? Remember, the Laplacian is the divergence of the gradient, right? So in other words, what are the A1, AJ, and AK for the Laplacian? So for the Laplacian, so Laplacian of F is really the divergence of the gradient of F. And the gradient of F is really what? This is really the divergence of 1 over H1, partial F, partial U, I hat plus 1 over H2, partial F, partial V, J hat, plus 1 over H3, partial F, partial W, K hat, right? And so now let's put this together. So what we're going to get over here is we're going to have a 1 over H1, H2, H3, 1 over H1, H2, H3 on the outside, and then a partial, partial U of this expression over here, right? So partial, partial U, that's my A1 over here. So what are we going to have? My A1 is exactly that coefficient. So we're going to have a partial, partial U of uh, what? Of partial F, partial U, partial F, partial U, H2, H3 over H1, plus a partial, partial V of partial F, partial V, H1, H3, all divided by what? All divided by H2. And plus, finally, a partial, partial W of partial F, partial W, H1, H2, all divided by H3. And so this formula over here gives us a formula for the Laplacian. This is over here, this expression over here. Is our formula for the Laplacian of F in these orthogonal curvilinear coordinates. And so now what we'll be able to do is once I know the Lemay coefficients, I'll be able to apply this formula to find very quick ways of computing the Laplacian in cylindrical coordinates, in spherical coordinates, in parabolic coordinates, and other more advanced or curvilinear coordinate systems. So this is a very, very useful formula to have in the back of your uh, in the back of your pocket for doing those calculations. Thank you very much.